So this is a pretty big milestone. I was just taking a look at the account today and I noticed that we just about passed over a million dollars in ClickFunnels affiliate commissions. So that's right. As a direct result of promoting this software, we just hit this million dollar milestone. And today I wanna be able to break it down to you. If you're somebody, if you're an affiliate marketer and you've always wanted to generate an initial stream of income promoting ClickFunnels, or maybe you're already promoting ClickFunnels and you wanna be able to understand how, what are some of the things that you could be doing in order to increase your conversions or to get more sales, then today I wanna be able to show you some of the moves that you could be making as well if you wanna be able to generate some affiliate commissions promoting ClickFunnels while helping other people at the same time. Let's begin. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five strategies. These are the same strategies that I have been utilizing that has enabled me to generate this result here today. And number one, which is probably the most, I wanna say the most important, but it's definitely one of the most frequent techniques that I've utilized. And number one is utilizing the share funnel feature. Now I'm gonna be showing you the right way to do it. I'm gonna showing you the, I'm gonna show you the wrong way to do it and the most common mistakes that marketers make. Now one of the most powerful things that you can be doing right now is when you go to any funnel, okay, so for example, this is a free plus shipping funnel that I have in my account. One of very powerful thing that you can do is inside the funnel you can actually go to the top right hand side where it says settings. And when I click on settings, it is going to allow me to share this same funnel, which is basically all of the steps in here. Okay. And I can click on this thing here that says share funnel. Now, what does this mean? It means that at one click of a button, this funnel that I have, the pages, the entire architecture and infrastructure, in one click will be sent over to that person that I'm sharing it to. And if they don't have a ClickFunnels account, the first thing that will happen is they will get the funnel, but they will also be attributed as a sale. And I would be able to get credit for referring this person to ClickFunnels. And if they continue utilizing ClickFunnels every single month, I would continue getting paid. Okay, so if you're new to this entire ClickFunnels affiliate platform, ClickFunnels is a software that allows you to build these landing pages. So that they've got two main price points, $97 and $297. And as long as the customer keeps paying, and if you're the referring affiliate, they will continue paying you commissions every single month. Okay, so the first thing to think about is, so how do you create good share funnels that genuinely help people? Okay, so I'm gonna be walking you through my different techniques. And today I'm gonna walk you through the steps. I'm gonna show you exactly, you know, what it takes. I'm not just gonna cover it from a surface level since this is like a huge, a pretty big milestone, right? So number one, share funnels, but let's talk about, so how do we get people that is targeted um, and share these funnels that, that genuinely help people, okay? So the first one would be literally what I'm doing right now creating a YouTube video, giving people some sort of tutorial or insight or some sort of sales process. So whether it's a free plus shipping funnel, whether it's a webinar funnel, whether it's a lead funnel for real estate agents or gym owners, whether it's a high ticket application funnel, one of the things that you could be doing is to teach a specific tutorial on YouTube. And at the end of that video, what do you say at the end of the video? It would be, so if you like this funnel, that I just showed you here. If you wanna be able to acquire more leads in the real estate market, in the insurance market, right? Depending on what it is that you taught, like literally right below this video right now, in the description box, there is going to be a bunch of share funnels. These are the same funnels that has made me a lot of money. And if you wanna be able to either get more leads or convert these leads into sales, be sure to check out my share funnels that I have prepared for you, right? That's all you need to do. And you could do this in a YouTube video, like literally what I just did. The second way to get people into your, clicking your share funnels and, and utilizing it, one of my favorites, hands down, is through events, okay? So whether it is live or digital, one of the ways that I've gotten like, like 100 plus people in one weekend, 
is through an event. One of the things that I've been doing is I've been doing events for a really long time. And in the last couple of years, I have weaved this into my events where literally if a person came to my event and if the event is about teaching people how to build a sales process, I would come from the angle of, hey, if you want to be able to automate your sales or get more leads, whether it is through a low ticket funnel, whether it's through a lead funnel, the good news is I've prepared these funnels for you. All you got to do is go download them, copy them and implement them. And I would give out these share funnels, these links as part of the event. Now, the third way would be through webinars. So if I'm doing a webinar, if I'm doing some sort of presentation online, as a bonus for getting people to show up on the webinar, can I give them a share funnel? Since they're showing up on a webinar anyway, and if the thing that you're teaching on a webinar is anything, has anything to do with, this, with sales processes, could you give that out as a bonus just for either showing up or as a way of saying thank you for staying all the way till the end? Okay, so one of the things that I do in order to share funnels, it would be as a way of saying thank you for showing up on my webinar, I'm gonna be giving you one of my funnels that I utilize to get more leads or on building up webinars or get closing high ticket, right? So whatever it might be for you, think about why a person showed up for your presentation and can you give out a share funnel as a result of somebody showing up on your webinar? So that's number one, share funnels, okay? Number two, if you wanna be effective in getting these share funnels out, uh, number two is all about smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Guys, um, if you're enjoying this first technique, I've still got four techniques for you to go, but if you en are enjoying it, if you're getting value, be sure to smash the like button. It does help the channel out a little bit. Uh, and subscribe to this channel. Switch on the bell notification if you want to be notified with, for more videos just like this one. That brings us to number two, okay? Number two is niching down. Now, what does it mean by niching down? The mistake that I see a lot of marketers make is that they're giving out all these different generic funnels. And while funnels are great, you know, funnels helps a business owner, an entrepreneur get more leads or convert these leads to sales. But many times a person in a specific market may not necessarily relate to how a specific funnel might be able to help them in their industry. And a very common thing that person new to this journey might be thinking, but how does sales funnel help me as a retail brick and mortar business? How does a funnel help me in my network marketing business? How does the funnel help me in my real estate business? So if you wanna be really effective when it comes to sharing funnels, think about can I create something, a training or an opt-in or a tutorial, something that enables me to share my funnel by niching down? So what if you created a share funnel, super simple lead gen funnel for say, I don't know, network marketers. So utilizing any of this, what if you created a YouTube video that says how to generate more leads for network marketers? So you're teaching network marketers how to get more leads. And then at the end of the video, what do you say? You say, and by the way, if you would like to be able to build up this funnel um, that I just showed you, guess what? The good news is you don't have to build it from scratch. As a network marketer, if you wanna be able to get more leads, I have actually built these funnels up for you. And below this YouTube video, there is a link um, that's gonna enable you to get this entire funnel into your account. So it could be for network marketers. It could be for real estate agents. It could be for people in B2B, right? It could be for people selling courses. This could be for authors. Now this is when it becomes relatable. This is what makes a person go, oh, this is why I need to be able to get this share funnel. Which brings us now to number three, okay? So number three is all about courses. If you are a course creator, whether it's a free course, whether it's a paid course, can you integrate ClickFunnels signing up for the trial or getting share funnels, okay? Everything kind of comes back down to number one in one way, shape or form because share funnels is the easiest way to sell click funnels. You're giving people value and at the same time, they get to try it out for themselves. If they like it, great. They'll probably become a member for forever 
because it's making them money, it's helping them get more leads, or if they don't like it, then they'll find something else, only to realize that ClickFunnels is one of the best softwares out there when it comes to building funnels, okay? So whether you are selling products on Udemy, whether it is a completely free course, whether it's a paid course, your course integrate ClickFunnels and the process of funnel building or getting leads or getting more sales as part of your course. Notice how everything comes back down to number one, which is the share funnel, which then brings us to number four, where number four is now no longer so much related to share funnels. It's a completely different thing on its own, promoting the free plus shipping funnels. Um, one of the things that uh, Russell Brunson does is rather than just promoting click funnels, he promotes the thing before click funnels that sells click funnels. So for example, he has got a books, he's got dot com secrets, expert secrets, traffic secrets. And if you've been following this channel for a while now, you will know that when he launched these books, I was the number one affiliate for both um, expert secrets as well as last year's launch, one of the biggest launches out there for traffic secrets. I was the number one affiliate for both of these contests. And what many people do not realize is that it's not about the sale of these books that made us a lot of money. It was the fact that when you promote these books and what happens after somebody buys the book is that the upsell and ultimately what the book is selling is ClickFunnels once again. And one of the things that you can do if you're not promoting the share funnels feature, if you're not promoting the trial, is you can promote any of these books and as part of funnel, they've got this thing called the sticky cookie, which means that if somebody buys the book and then continues on to buy ClickFunnels, you will be credited for the sale. So one of the things that I do is I also promote these funnels um, as part of my affiliate marketing model. When Russell launched Traffic Secrets, one of the things that I did is um, I noticed that there were a lot of different marketers out there giving out a ton of bonuses. And I call these bonuses like diarrhea bonuses, which is basically there's a ton of bonuses out there and it's, it's, it's diarrhea because it's all crap. Now, what I did was I actually created a live event, but the problem is um, we all know that 2020, what happened was something unexpected happened. Live events were dead, but I gave out bonuses that was really through the roof. I was doing giveaways. Now, the whole purpose of this is not to just to sell a book and support Russell, but ultimately when a person buys the book, it's what happens after that is gonna to result to affiliate commissions. So the question like you to ask is, can you integrate either dot-com secrets or traffic secrets or expert secrets as part of what it is that you do and promote these front-end funnels instead? Because the front-end funnels will lead to the sale of click funnels. And when somebody does that, that's when you get paid commissions as well. That brings us to number five, thinking what other bonuses can you do, right? When it comes to affiliate marketing, whether you wanna sell physical products on Amazon, whether you wanna sell click funnels, whether you wanna sell a digital product, the question that you gotta ask is not just why should somebody buy this, but why should somebody buy this through your link, right? Because there's probably 10,000 other marketers that's doing the same thing. Well, number one was if they buy through your link, they might get your share funnels, okay? So that itself is a differentiator. So number five is really bonuses. What other bonuses could you be giving out so that a person would want to buy through your link? For example, after the Traffic Secrets contest, that was when I did a webinar with Russell. We did this traffic workshop webinar. And on this webinar, I gave out a ton of bonuses. Okay, so you got to think about not just about giving out random bonuses, but bonuses that truly help that specific audience. Who is that specific audience? And really go deep with that bonus. Be specific and give out bonuses that truly help them. And then again, one of the best bonuses that you can create is if you have a share funnel for one specific audience. Finally, the last one, when it comes to affiliate marketing, by the way, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what the biggest, your biggest takeaway is. One of the things that I've been constantly doing is I'm picking one to three random people that comment. So if you type in 
click funnels affiliate marketing okay if you type that in the comment i am going to be paying one to three uh, winners where we give away our two thousand dollar course and the next winner could be you and be sure to smash the subscribe button if you want to be able to get more videos just like this one so the last one is this okay and this is the summary of all affiliate marketing affiliate marketing on its own it's not a business. And I know it sounds crazy for me to say this, but ultimately, if you're promoting somebody else's business, whether it's a physical product on Amazon, whether it's a digital product on ClickBank, if all you're doing is building up somebody else's business, that's not a business. Why? Because you never know when their terms of service could change. I love Russell, but what if his company gets bought out by somebody else and for $3 billion or something? And the new owner said, you know what? Thank you all very much. It's been a wild ride, but we don't need affiliates anymore. Then what, right? So ultimately, you're playing on somebody else's rules. So because of that, if you're just promoting somebody else's business, you don't have a business. So the question is, how do you make sure you are actually building a business while you're building somebody else's business? It would be to make sure at the very minimum, you're always building your own list. Because if you're not building your own list, you're not building a real business. So even though I have shared with you all these different strategies on promoting other people's stuff, you're going to notice that whether it's, it's the webinar, whether it's giving out bonuses, whether it is the share funnels, in most cases, what I would normally do first, the one thing that I'll always do is I will promote my own thing first. I will always build up my own list first. I will sell my own product first and click funnels should be the spillover effect of you selling your own thing. And if you are doing that, then you would be building your own business first and click funnels would help you create a really nice, good additional stream of income. I don't even consider myself as an affiliate marketer. I consider myself as somebody who's just building my business and click funnels happens to be a really good fit for what it is. That I do. So I hope you found value from this video. If you're somebody that wants to be able to take your affiliate marketing strategies to a whole new level, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to put up my entire affiliate marketing playlist here. Be sure to binge watch this entire affiliate marketing playlist that is going to appear in front of you in 5, 4, 3, 2,